Hi, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. This is actually a timeless collective reading for the sign of Capricorn. I just can't breathe. That's what I keep hearing. I just so I don't know if somebody right now is mourning or remembering something. Somebody right now is not in a good mental state. Um, and like I said here, this death card in the reverse. Also, what I'm getting, it's like whoever this person is, they have done something. Um, I'm hearing the word tactless, tactless. Um, so this person did, has done a lot of things in their life and, and maybe even towards you or someone that you, you care about without much tact at all. This person has been very rude, nasty, disrespectful, ruthless. Okay, I'm hearing the word conniving as well. This person right now is is trying to avoid death, but I'll be honest with you. And death could be, a, you know, it could be any type of ending. They want to avoid, I will just say a tower. Um, when you see the death card and you hear messages like this, it's not, I'm not trying to scare you, but there is an ending here. And for some people out here, you know, for a sure fact, like someone has done something to possibly send the energy of death towards you. And this could be physical or spiritual. Okay. Um, but I mean, as above, so below, whoever this person is, it feels like somebody, I'm going to be honest, this feels like a person who possibly could be under some type of influence because the energy that has been coming up, this is someone who is not currently stable and they are very deep in, um, their thoughts that we are in like the post shadow of Mercury retrograde. I don't know if, if nostalgia is getting the best of this person where they are reminiscing on something or experiencing some type of deja vu. Um, it could be seasonal depression from the holidays. I'm not sure, but somebody I'm hearing is, oh, how did these cards get here? A loose cannon. Now, this is crazy that these cards are in this deck. I have no idea. I think I just pulled these up. See, somebody here possibly tried to make you miss an opportunity. See, when things like this happen, I always take it as a sign. Um, I had this deck behind this one. So let's see what these cards say. Someone, so causing you to miss out or lose an opportunity. Problems with making important life changes for future benefits, expansion, abundance, prosperity. Okay, so somebody could be having problems themselves with making important life changes. Like I said, somebody here that I'm, I'm picking up on, their mental health is not good right now. Um, Black Obsidian may be helpful to you at this time. You may want to try to work with this stone. It may help you with bringing in more positive energy. Um, This is somebody who is a copycat. And this person, like I said, they did something here very rude, nasty, disrespectful towards you. Some of you, this is somebody who has done a lot to try to spread rumors, gossips, assassinate your name, your character, or whatever. You have blackmail digging up dirt on you to use later. So somebody tries to cop be is your copycat. They tried to dig up a bunch of dirt on you to use it against you so that you would miss out on some kind of opportunity. Um, practice a return to sender protection ritual. So some of you are doing a return to sender. This person what I'm getting right now is for some of you, somebody has been doing spell work, like they've been sending spell work to you, or maybe they are not in a good space or somebody else could have done spell work. I feel like somebody is sending spell work to you, or they call themselves returning spell work to you, and you haven't done anything to this person. So, I mean, just the basic laws of karma, it's going to go back to this person. Um, for some of you, this is a person that your ex could have been with. It feels very much like a lot of you have a situation where you could have had an ex that went pillow talking with this person. This person tries to copy you, try to hurt you, harm you, make you miss an opportunity. This ex could have tried to come back to you, could have tried to juggle you on this person or whatever the case is. White sage, yeah, blocks, um, solar plexus chakra. So somebody has possibly been trying to do a lot to block your confidence, your sense of pride in yourself. Like this person wants you to be powerless. They don't want you to have the, the willpower to change. This person's block, their solar places is, is blocked also. This person's solar places is blocked. And that's the reason why they're a copycat. This person is constantly trying to copy 
other people because they 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 they're powerless. This could be someone, like I said, they don't have much willpower. It says, beware of anyone new entering your life, altering your values and morals and making life decisions. Feminine hater. Okay. So some of you, you could have, um, you could be dealing with this person or you welcome someone into your life who was actually a feminine hater. This feels like a couple that has been attacking you. It feels like some of you. You connected with the person or reconnected with someone who actually had a lot of issues with you having pride, um, self-love, self-esteem, or whatever. This person got upset with you about something, may have tried to block opportunities, but what this, for a lot of you, this is a man. What this man did is they decided to get into cahoots with this, this karmic feminine who's a loose cannon. This karmic feminine wanted to be your copycat. This person wanted to start like blocking you, but this person was definitely into some kind of spell work. Your spirit guides, angels, ancestors, they're here protecting you. It says you already know who this person is, okay? Somebody could be calling you from blocked or spam calls. You could be getting random texts from unknown numbers. Tiger's Eye is out here, so Tiger's Eye and Black Obsidian could be helpful. Somebody could be sending you a lot of evil omens like insects, black birds, snakes, rats. Possess a talisman to amplify positive vibes. So, yeah, this is a couple for a lot of you. You have an ex that um, either wants to re-enter your life and they can't, or you allow this person back into your life. And then if you disconnected with them again, I don't know, this could have been like a back and forth situation. Anyway, this person decided to link up with someone, maybe even be in a relationship with a person that is very dark and nasty. That person, um, I don't know if maybe this ex of yours told a bunch of lies on you to this person. It feels very much like there's a lot here happening that is based on a lie. Let's just see what this is, but you're going to be receiving, you're receiving positive, exciting news about you being the star and being in alignment, having wish fulfillment. Yeah, look at this. The star, th this is it. The star, the empress, the tower, and the high priestess. Yeah, and the chariot. The death card in the reverse, king of pentacles in the reverse, knight of pentacles in the reverse, king of cups in the reverse, the sun in the reverse, the moon in the reverse. So this is a group. <laughs> This has been coming out every day, y'all. It's something happening. Like this, this message can't come out every day. This is this is a couple who, who is a part of some type of dark cult or coven or group. And whoever they had assisting them with coming against this divine feminine energy, I feel like everybody now there is a death here and ending that cannot be avoided. This this message has been coming out very, very strongly all week. And I'm not the only reader that's picking up on it. The Empress here and the Star. There's something about your truth, you being inspirational. Something about you is coming out. And somebody here was really trying to block this. It was like some these people, they needed to block the truth about this divine. From, you literally have the Empress, the Star, the High Priestess, and the Chariot. There is absolutely no denying the fact that you have overcome something and you're moving forward. It, it's, it's clear here that if you move forward, that means that everything stops for them. So this is some kind of copycat energy. Like these people, apparently they've been resting in, in your energy, hiding in your energy, cloaking themselves, stealing, harvesting your energy or whatever for a long time. For somebody here, I'm hearing very pretty, pretty and powerful with the Empress of Star here. It's like for a lot of you, you've never really known your true power. So you probably didn't realize that something here was really affecting you. Some of you, you haven't even tapped into your own destiny because literally people have been mooching off of it and stealing from you for so long. But see, again, somebody went and did something for sure in the spirit and they're trying to, they're trying to put something back together. Somebody went tampering with some kind of soul contract or an energy, an entity. I don't know what this is. But they're trying to put something back together now because they're seeing now. Um, so somebody, because um, I keep hearing, I, uh, what did she say? I just can't breathe without my baby. 
somebody realizes that <laughs> you're, you're like their life support. If this is somebody who call themselves cutting you off or being rude, nasty, or attacking you, they're realizing now that with the Empress, the Star, the High Priestess, the Chariot, that without you, everything crumbles. You have this one masculine energy right here in the center with the Empress, the Star, the High Priestess, the Chariot. And this High Priestess, I feel, there is some kind of secret or information that's going to come out. And the Chariot right here, this could even be like the police. There's like something here is coming out. And it feels like a person realizes somebody, they just have regrets. I'm just going to say that somebody has regrets and there's a death and ending that somebody can't get out of. These people have regrets now because every single thing is falling on them. Yeah, these are people part of some kind of dark secret cult or coven. And they're realizing that something has gone too far because there, there's no, there's just no way out. It's like somebody kind of like they hung themselves in whatever they did, whatever they said. Dang. The death card. It's over. Dang. This is over. Like, wow. Wow. The star. The star is falling right underneath the star. The death card is falling under the empress. This is a wife. This is somebody's wife or ex-wife. This person, I mean, of course, that could be a mother figure. But um, the star underneath the star like this, this person, this person tried to walk in your energy and they can't duplicate or replicate this and they're being punished. They're, they're being punished severely for this because this person tried to, this person, I'm telling you, they tried to steal your destiny. I feel like this person, it wasn't enough that they already blocked some type of offer or opportunity for you. Um, it could have been a relationship, but then they went as far as to be become obsessed with you and to, you know, I'm telling you, it, it just went too far. Because you have this person that were digging up dirt on you, trying to sabotage you, your name, your business, your connections. They, they, this is this is like your ex's person. Your your ex is in a connection or married to this person. Your ex did a bunch of stuff to sabotage your name or whatever, and then this person that they got with. That person became obsessed with you. These people were attacking you both physically and spiritually. But when this person got obsessed enough to literally try to be you, to try to siphon or, or harvest your energy or destiny swap or something like that, that's when I feel like spirit was just like, that's it. And they've done this for a while or more than once. Yeah. You see behind the veil, you see it. These people have been caught in the spirit. That's what it is. Your energy has remained balanced. Page of Cups. Queen of Swords. Wow. And look at that, the tower. I'm telling you, it's this couple here. Queen and King of Wands. Page of Swords. All of this watching, stalking, monitoring, astral traveling, or projecting, whatever they've been doing, they've been caught in the spirit for doing this. They have been caught red-handed. There's no way they can get out of it. King of Pentacles. I feel like there's a King of Pentacles out here who has some kind of secret. Now, this King of Pentacles could be this person that's attacking you, but I'll be honest, there's more than one masculine that's attacking this Divine Feminine. Yeah, the Queen of Swords. This person cannot move forward anymore with this lie or this illusion. Y'all, I cannot make this up. This is a very direct message. The cherry with the queen of swords, and you see here, this is an illusion. This card is all about someone creating an illusion. Somebody, I'll be honest, somebody had created an illusion around you. If you guys have been feeling very weird lately, um, feeling confused, not really sure if, if things are up or down, should you move forward or backwards? This was some kind of illusion 
or confusion, magic, or or something like they definitely play some kind of spell around you or try to alter the energy around you. But this now is leading to a, a, an ending, a death that they cannot escape. Because you notice that this card here, which suggests that there is an illusion, this Queen of Swords right here, she has her sword down, okay? Because of the illusion. Somebody wanted to create an illusion for you that you didn't need any type of protection or whatever, but notice this card was in the reverse and the chariot is upright. You're still moving forward. See, you weren't supposed to move forward with this type of chaotic, confusing energy, you aren't supposed to be able to move forward. The lovers is in the reverse. The king of cups in the reverse. The hangman in the reverse. King of pentacles in the reverse. Hierophant in the reverse. So let me tell you, in this whole little situation here, somebody has an ex. This person could have Libra, Taurus in their chart. Okay. Libra, Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius, Pisces. Heavy Pisces and Scorpio out here. Cancer. So you have the death card in the reverse, the lovers in the reverse, king of cups in the reverse. Somebody here honestly thought that they were going to do something to ensure, I mean, a thousand percent that you did not receive a new love offer. The hangman. Somebody, they put you and your person or your I don't like your contract in love. I don't know how they do this, but they sacrificed it. And you have the King of Pentacles in the reverse and the Hierophant in the reverse with the Strength card in here and then the Hermit. And here's the Judgment. These are the people that have been coming out in these readings for months now. You got a, a Cancer Leo Virgo type energy here. There is a Hierophant. Okay. This Hierophant and King of Pentacles always comes out together. They're both upside down. This is somebody very stingy, very greedy. Like I said, there's a King of Pentacles out here. There's somebody out here that you're connected to, they're connected to this situation, but they're not the main person, but they've been holding a secret from you that they know all about this situation. That could be this Taurus, but there's also, for some of you, it's like a Capricorn or a Virgo. There's more than one earth sign out here. I can tell you that. And somebody has a lot of Scorpio in their chart, or this was just something in your life that was very transformative. It was, it was meant to transform your life, and that's exactly what it's doing. But see, somebody out here has kept a secret from you. Somebody sat back and they watched. They knew that this was happening to you. They could have came to you and told you something, but instead it seems like this person, they joined in. See, it's a lot of people in this situation that are hiding their hands and they can't hide anymore. There is no more hiding. King of Swords, Queen of Cups, Strength Card in the Reverse, whoever this Leo is, they can stop. They, the, you, they can't, they can run, they cannot hide. And I feel like that's this person that's kind of dealing with these mental health issues. This person is so afraid right now that it, it, it feels like, honestly, th this person is ready to just, to just give up. Take that however it resonates. But this, this person, they're, they're tired of living like this. It has, it has left them feeling very defeated at this point. Yeah. Because here's the tower. And these two people, two or more people, they've been kicked out of your energy. The queen of swords. The illusion is over. Okay. Whatever they did behind the veil and tried to hide from you. See, these people went in the spirit and tried to do something. They either tried to do something. They 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 definitely tried to do something, but they did this while they tried they tried to have you spiritually blind or under some type of spell or an illusion. They didn't expect you to come out of it, but because you come out of whatever this type of spell work or, or situation is here, now everybody is running scared because what they did in the spirit, it's like it's being shown to you. Even if it's not being shown to you, your spirit guides, angels, ancestors, and most important, God knows exactly what they did. And that's the reason why a lot of you now, the temperance here in the Page of Cups, you're sitting down in this very loving, caring, kind, patient energy. This energy, like it has been perfectly transmuted and balanced for you. And this Queen of Wands, this Queen of Wands who tried to do magic to sacrifice this Queen of Cups or to somehow become this Queen of Cups, the Hermit in the reverse. This person is 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 like hiding right now. 
this person is just is somewhere hiding in solitude. Yep, King of Wands out here. Knight of Wands. So Sagittarius energy out here too. I heard somebody say this earlier, privacy is power. There's something here happening with a particular person, but I'm not gonna say. I'm gonna give this warning. I'm not, there, there's a, there's another situation out here is totally separate. Your privacy is your power, page of swords. You're being watched. I'm being watched right now. Of course, all readers are being watched, but people are watching these readings to gather a lot of information. There's another situation out here. These people, they want to know who's in your life, who's around you, who's protecting you, who are you praying to, who are you talking to. It's not their business because right now they're all running scared and trying to figure out how can they reverse something they can't be reversed. But there, there's another situation out here. It'll come up when the time is right. You know what it is. Yeah, somebody is in solitude. Hoping that karma doesn't catch up with them. But see, this karma is karma is going towards somebody with a vengeance. The same vengeance that they came at you with, with this spell work or whatever, karma is going right back. And somebody, the hermit in the reverse, like I said, this person is somewhere hiding in solitude. <laughs> They're terrified. But see, these different ascended masters and... um ancestors and spirit guides and, and, and angels that you have, they're taking action. And look at this emperor, how his arm is crossed. He's like, what? Like, what did you do? The, everything is being balanced out. And it's being balanced out in a way, like I said just a moment ago, your privacy is your power. You don't have to talk about how this is being balanced out. You may not even know how, but just know it's being balanced out. And whoever these people are, they they can't see. They don't know. It feels like a lot of these people right now too. They're being spiritually bound, where they that they, like their spiritual eyes or ears or whatever something is not functioning for them. They don't have the same power that they had. And when it comes to a lot of these people doing these rituals, timing is so important. Timing. I'm seeing on um, what's that movie? Indiana Jones. Is what I'm seeing right now. And my throat just like started scratching real bad. <clears throat> Timing is very important. If they can't get certain tasks to be carried out at a certain time when it comes to this energy that they're sending up and they want us to come back down and, and twirl all around and, 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 and swap destinies and all that. If it does not happen with like th this has to be done very precisely. They've already missed the mark for something to, 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 to work. They've already missed the mark. They know that. That's why they are all running, scared, hiding, terrified. And I feel like your spiritual team is just like, well, y'all know we, we're, we're about to take action. And we know exactly where you are. These people, they're not hard to find. See, they like to jump around. This is the thing. Most of you... And it doesn't matter where you are in your journey. These are astral things. I've been saying it all week. These are astral things. They don't steal in your face. You, you, you're you going through things in your life. Yeah. These people have finally been caught in the spirit. See, it was easy for them to go undetected. Just in your everyday life, you know, the 3D, the matrix we're in. But now... That they're being caught up in the spirit. See, th this was a perfect operation. Don't get caught up in the 3D. Just go in the spirit and do it. Now they're being caught in the spirit. So now what are you gonna do? Where do you go now? Where do you go to where do you go to hide now? This was always their secret place. Some of you have been afraid to um meet people on these spiritual grounds. And even if you are, you have, like I said, your spiritual team is like, well, we're here. <laughs> God is like, just call me. What, what you need? You know, it's that type of energy. 
So everything that was done in the in the spirit, they're like, oh, wait, wait a minute. This also is somebody too who, for some of you, a person is 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 concerned because you have spiritual gifts. They're wondering what do you know that they've done in the spirit. They're 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 curious. They they want to know what do what all do you know about the secrets that they've been keeping? Because if you know things that they've been doing, what they are afraid of is that you're going to call on judgment. See, when a person is doing spell work and cloaking themselves and all of that, let's be honest. Once you know who it is, what it is, that cancels it out. That's why a lot of this stuff is not working anyway. Because just you having the, the, the right inkling about it. Even if it's even if you're not operating quite off of a confirmation, the fact that you're getting this type of clarity about it has these people really afraid. Because what they've been doing in the spirit will cost them everything. They know that. See, it, it, it was all good just a week ago when nobody knew what was going on. And they were going to keep doing this. Now that you know, it's like, oh. And I'm hearing somebody say, not only are you going to get them for what they're doing now, oh, you're going to get them for what they did in the past too. And that's what they're afraid of. Yeah. King of Wands, I'm telling you, whoever this person is, they're taking hits. This is a blow that they're they're receiving right now. Like, the lovers. This is the other. This is another situation. For some of you, there's a King of Wands. Because you have this um, Tempest card here. The King of Wands falling under the King of Wands. When you see this card, it looks like this person, like they're in trouble. But I feel like this is somebody standing in battle. That's what I'm getting here. It's a lot of temperance energy out here. Page of Wands, this person, this is somebody that will take action. They may get roughed up a little bit, but they, they're willing to take the risk. The Chariot, yeah. Something here is not moving forward. The Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. <laughs> Something here is just over. And there is a cancer out here or somebody has cancer in their chart. This person is very shady. Yeah, the magic did not work. Somebody that they're looking, this divine feminine energy is sitting very pretty, very powerful, and is extremely psychic. Somebody does not know. They're still sitting back wondering, is this magic going to hit? Because what they're all seeing right now is... The Wheel of Fortune and the Chariot is in the reverse. Everything has come to a screeching halt. And they're looking. Everything was, was dependent on this magic working that they were doing in this, obviously, in the spirit that was hidden. And it was well hidden. It's a bunch of forbidden stuff that they're doing anyway. But it has been hidden for so long. It has worked for them. Literally, th this is people who, you know, if this is a group or whatever, you got to think of how many people have been living like this by stealing in the spirit. For this to now be uncovered, it dismantles everything. That's the that's why everybody's like shocked. Because if this is a group, it's like people are asking, okay, you see what happened to so and so? Okay, well remember what happened to this person? Everybody is just, this is a domino effect. Everybody's like, okay, so when is this going to come and hit me? My family, because they already know. They know what they've done. Let me tell you about people who are occultists, especially. If they don't know anything else, they know exactly how karmic laws work. They know what risk they're taking when they take those risks. They know. They know all about risk and rewards. And for them, the risk has always been worth the reward because you didn't recognize the risk that they were taking. 
But see, you're a magician too. And being a magician, it doesn't mean that you're doing magic. You can manifest things. Some of you, your magic power, your, your magical power is, is just your heart. The way you love, the way that you can give and receive love, your, your ability, to, ability to forgive. These are the things that they keep coming for. That's why all this self-sabotage energy has been happening. They want you to feel so low and depressed because they want you to be resentful and bitter and mean and angry, mad and sad, disappointed and depressed. But see, a lot of you, this is one of these people out here for sure. You have this person and has been doing something where you're picking up all of their emotions because this person's always in your energy. It really feels like I said, same thing a few days ago. This destiny swap ritual that somebody did, you're definitely, I feel like what I've been saying, you can feel the effects of it. You've been picking up all of the emotions and everything of this other person or these other people. But what they really wanted to steal from you, they can't get it. See, this, whatever this magic is, it was supposed to, I guess, be permanent or to last long enough for them to steal something. It, it, it has lost its power. It, 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 it's and, it, and it's very potent. <laughs> Oh, it's strong. It's heavy. Most definitely. But it's not strong enough to take you down. And again, the risk. If this backfires, all hell breaks loose. The moon. Some of you, your superpower is your intuition, the moon, your intuition, the empress. There's something out here, too, that you're protecting. God has called for you to protect yourself and to protect others. So these people, they, they can't take you down. You have a bigger purpose. Page of Cups in the reverse, yeah. These people, they did some kind of moon magic. Probably that last full moon of 2023. They did some kind of moon magic. And they're still waiting to see are the results going to shift or change. It's not. The cycle is over. The world is here. It's not. This cycle, this toxic cycle dealing with the devil and this karmic couple is over. That's it. That's all. You have the King of Swords in the reverse, the King of Cups in the reverse. This is some nasty, jealous, narcissistic, power-hungry, just deceitful energy here that will not stop coming for you. But this whole thing is just over. Nine of Pentacles in the reverse, Nine of Pentacles, pretty much in the reverse as well. This is just over. <laughs> the plan, the strategy, it's, it, it's all just being destroyed. Yeah. Look, the sun in the reverse, the moon in the reverse, not the cups in the reverse, king of swords in the reverse. Somebody here has been trying to abuse their power. They can't come towards you. The moon is in the reverse. The illusions have been shattered and the sun is in the reverse. Somebody now, um, the fact that this illusion has been shattered, all of their dreams and fantasies, hopes, plans, goals have also been shattered because everything in their life was dependent on what they could do or what they could steal, what they could do to you, however they could harm you and what they could steal from you. Page of Pentacles. I just can't breathe without my baby. Yeah, see, they can't breathe. They can't exist hardly without your energy. And they weren't able to get it. Something has just been blocked off, sealed off. You're not in this same frequency, vibration, this timeline. Um, I said that I've been saying this like whatever kind of parallel universe they try to put you in or whatever, you're not there. These people, it, it, that's really, it's like they were sending something. I, I keep getting Indiana Jones. It's like the timing. The timing, they sent something out and, and the energy, the timing, something was off. It did nothing. 
And if somebody was trying to get you to go back to an old timeline, an old relationship or an old way of being or something like that, what it did is it actually sent them back. Yeah, justice in reverse. Somebody feels like this is so unfair. But see, whatever final decision these people were trying to make for your life, it didn't work at all. Because again, whatever your gift, talent, ability, your energy, whatever this sacred contract is of yours, it's still intact. That's why it's still there in your hand, in your lap. They sent something out towards you and you weren't even there. You're, you're not there and you're not coming back. It's almost like your past has been sealed, like blocked off from you completely. You can't go back there even if you wanted to and they can't come towards you because this, this was always the problem with the Empress and the Star here. These people have most likely sold their souls they're already um, bound where they are. That's why in the physical, they can't do much. So they always do things in the spirit. They were always extremely afraid of you coming into this awareness about yourself because, of course, you would be able to see them in the spirit and they would cut all the cords, all the ties. Where, where you're going, they can't go there. These are soulless beings. They can't go where you're going. God does not know them, does not deal with them. God, does, he no longer knows these people by, by name. They sold their souls. So for them, you know, the, the, the closest thing that they'll ever get to heaven is through you. So they have to leech off of you constantly. Now that you've ascended, it's like, oh my goodness. See, it, it's it's like the, you know, if we're just going to use it, it's like the, the heaven, earth, and hell. These people, and I, I said, I used to say this all the time. These people, they're they're elevated the way that they will go <laughs> to, to um from hell. They wanted to walk around the, 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 um, the, the streets of heaven on a buddy pass. No more buddy passes. See, these people would astral travel, project, do whatever. Whenever they wanted something, they would use your energy. And it would give them a touch of the things that they know they don't actually have access to. Now, they don't have that at all. It's unauthorized. Access denied. You can't do it. They abuse this. It's... Same thing. It's like Netflix now. <laughs> Everybody can't, 50 people can't use a Netflix username and password anymore. It's now detecting, hey, you're trying to log in and you're not a part of this household. You're not, you're not authorized to, to view this. Hey, and, and, and just like with the Netflix thing now, if you, if you try to log into somebody's Netflix account and you're not actually on their like one of the primary people on their account, it'll tell you if you want to log in, then we're going to have to send an email to the primary account user, which means that obviously that person's always going to know when you're trying to sign in. You see what I'm saying? See, now with this level of, of, of spiritual awareness, ranking and protection that you have, their access is denied, but then you also... You get alerted every time they even try to get into your account. And from there, you can block and you can do whatever you want to do. You can report them. You see what I'm saying? See, you can report people now. Because you get alerted every single time they do something. And you can tell they're trying to beat down the door to get into your energy and they can. Some of you, a lot of your... Um, like any type of weird energy, it has nothing to do with you. Even if you're tired, some of you, you're tired because it's like you're, you're gatekeeping for yourself now. And that may be new for you. These spiritual boundaries, you're getting acclimated now to having to kick people out, put them in their place because they're so used to just walking through the door. That's what they do. They can't do that now. And again, 
you get a text message, an email. You, you keep getting alerts about their suspicious activity. Some of you, suspicious activity could be a thing. These people could be trying to tap into your accounts or whatever. Everything they do, though, they're getting caught. It's a it's a it's 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 a, a paper trail and and tracks of every single thing that they're doing. So that's why now it's it's no way out. Judgment is in the reverse. There's no mercy here. With the judgment in the reverse, this is to me when I see judgment in the reverse, I'm always I'm like this is someone who refused to. Look at a situation they refuse to forgive. They refuse to have any kind of compromise or compassion. Somebody here has refused to awaken and become aware of themselves, their past, or a situation in order to grow and to evolve. The Empress. Mm, the devil in the reverse. See, this devil here in the upright... It's saying that the devil is caught. Somebody here refused to get a handle, a hold on their own shadow. And this empress here with death. This this is an empress out here who is going to have an ending. And it's going to be a major ending. Okay? Here's the emperor and the queen of wands. If some of you have an, an ex that has a current girlfriend, wife, baby mama, and their mother has been involved in something, somebody out here is about to face a major ending. It's heavy emphasis on this empress. Now, the empress we know can be a wife, it can be a mother, um, baby's mother, whatever. But somebody here refused to get the memo, and it really could be this person's ex-wife. I told you guys before, there's a Queen of Wands, Capricorn, Libra, Taurus. Scorpio energy, judgment in the reverse. Somebody just refused to stop doing something. The, 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 this person, the devil in the reverse, this person's obsession, their toxicity, bad habits, their hatred, resentment, or whatever, it's just too far out of control. They could not get a handle on this, and it has driven this person mad and to do a bunch of stuff under some type of influence. Like this person. Is in some kind of emotional like distress. Yeah, they went too far though. Queen of Wands in reverse. That's it. Knight of Swords. You're being protected from this person. Yeah. The Hierophant. This is somebody's wife. This is somebody's wife. This person is a witch, and they are a part of. Some type of um, cult or coven, secret society, gang, whatever. And they thought that they could use this coven or whatever to help them with all of their dirty work. This now has destroyed this person and a lot of people involved. And that's another thing, too. Not only is this person now afraid of you becoming aware of what they're doing or what they've done. They're afraid of all of the people that they've got involved in attacking you because this person wants to say that you were not the queen of cup upright all because of their jealousy of your freedom, your liberation, your happiness, your peace, your intuitive gifts. See, now people are waking up and they're saying, wait a minute, all of us are being attacked because this person lied. Somebody here made a decision blindly. So listen to what this person was saying. Knight of Cups and the Strength. It's this Leo. I'm telling you. Somebody hates that they ever made an offer. Or somebody hates that they ever took this type of assignment or whatever. Because it does feel like somebody was, was hired to do something spiritually to a person. Somebody hates that they ever did this. Because they're saying now that this was all, it was all based on a lie. This person had convinced themselves that they were somebody that they that they're not. This person had this is like a feminine who had, literally in their head they had convinced themselves that they were a divine feminine, and they were living their life as such. So I don't know if this was some kind of identity theft or what. This person was going around pretty much trying to make it clear to to everybody 
that they were a, a particular person. And it, it could just be, you know, a lot of people get wrapped up on the twin flame soulmate. I'm this person's twin flame or I'm their soulmate or whatever. And it's like, first of all, nobody asked you, but here you are. You're actually lying to yourself because you're a karmic witch. You're a karmic witch that's obsessed with the idea of being somebody's life partner, soulmate, twin flame. And this person has driven themselves completely insane doing this. And then they went out and they got help from other people to gain stalk and to try to hurt somebody who was a natural born healer and a star. Yeah, King of Pentacles, Emperor, Hierophant, child. I don't, you, this, this Taurus and this Capricorn, this is a business. You have the King of Pentacles, the Emperor, and the Hierophant. And then the Justice card, Page of Swords. Yeah, something is out about a very immature action that somebody took. You have the fool in the reverse. There's two people out here who thought that they were going to get away with something. They're not because they made an offer. They made some type of offer or did something with this Leo and they regret it because whatever they thought they were going to capture that was dark <laughs> with this moon magic. Oh, the dark thing that they thought they were going to capture was Divine Feminine. The Queen of Cups High Priestess because, of course, they made you out to be a, a dark, wicked person, right? But the whole time here, you are moving into being the star Divine Feminine. And now they're trying to reverse something because, oh, everybody sees who you really are now. Yeah, you can reverse this. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> you can reverse this. You're going to pay for everything you did for the last however many years. And this person that's been in the background hiding, they're really about to find out. You, you're not going to hide from this. Clear yourself. This card fell out and it shouldn't even be here. Ask the angels to release any toxic energies that you may have absorbed. Yeah. Somebody out here that you know could be a friend, family member, or even another lover. They know all about this. They could be a part of this same cult, coven, secret society, or whatever. They have sat back and watched you go through pure hell. And they have been engaged. They, 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 they've been engaged in whatever this group was doing to you. Bam, there you have it. Death. Coughing and despair. Somebody wanted you to have an ending so that they could steal your great fortune. And they're going to fall right in the right in the grave that they dug for you. And I'm picking up his two people. Yeah. Somebody stole a new beginning, a marriage. They, they, or they were trying to steal this contract from you. This new beginning, an opportunity for you to have a new beginning, whether it's with a child, a marriage, business, or whatever. They were determined to steal this, something that you had worked so hard for. But now this entire community, they're facing judgment. And I told you before, there's a main, you see here, main female and mature woman. This could be a masculine who has a wife, girlfriend, baby mama, whatever, that's been working with um, a mature woman. This mature woman could be just some kind of dark priest that's been assisting them, or this could actually be this person's mother. How sick is that? To literally have a, a mother and a daughter-in-law attacking somebody's ex. Doing all of this for sudden wealth. And they didn't think that it was ever going to come out, what they've been doing for Sudden Wealth. Because these people, they cause deaths and endings for Sudden Wealth. And even though a lot of this has nothing to do with you, December 15th or December 23rd, December 15th, the 20th, and the 23rd could have been significant. But by the end of the year, December 31st, I bet you somebody has been, is, is sick. Somebody is sick right now. December um, 19th could have been significant. 
Yeah. A lot has been happening. The 18th, the 19th, you have the 18th, the 19th, and the 20th, the 23rd, and the 31st. These are all these ongoing rituals that they've been doing. And it's like the year is over. I'm pretty sure they're, they're asking themselves, well, what's going to happen? What's going to happen now? The year is over. This was supposed that you weren't supposed to get something or I, I'm hearing specific. You weren't supposed to make it into 2024. And here you are now, most likely becoming privileged and receiving a, a relationship that they were trying to steal from you yet again. They've already done this to you at least once. They were coming in to do it again. Last time, you didn't know. But see, this person's family and this Leo that keeps doing this to you, not knowing that you're an official person or you're connected to official people. Yeah. 